Hi, I didn't hear you come in. How are you? How are you feeling today? Great. So you are here to find out if you may have pre-diabetes. It's easy, it takes less than one minute. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Follow along. First of all, hold up one finger if you are a man, woman, zero. Three more fingers if you are over 60, two if you are over 50, one over 40. One more finger if you are not very active. Anyone in your family have diabetes? That's a one for yes, zero for no. High blood pressure. Again, one for yes, zero for no. Next, find the body type that looks most like you. And hold up that many fingers. You have a look, hold up. Look around here a little bit awkwardly a moment. You pick one. Well, that's it. Let's count. If you are holding up five fingers or more, you probably have pre-diabetes. I'm sorry to be blunt, but it's yes, it's time you made some serious changes to your lifestyle. What's that? What changes? What we call the best changes. The best changes you will make in your life. Come on, let, let me show you. First, let's go somewhere where there's lots of fresh air, like uh, at the beach. Now, this is best. Oh, yes! So B, B is for be active. Spend a minimum 30 minutes a day working out. You can do any physical activity you want, as long as your body is moving and, more importantly, it gets your heart pumping fast. Next is E, which is eat smart. You have to control your portion. Eat more fiber-rich foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Stay away from all sorts of sugary drinks. Eat lean meat, drink plenty of water, and take care of carbs with the glycemic index. Remember, the higher the GI, the more dangerous it is for you. White bread, white rice, big no no, absolutely not. Sweet potato, carrots and beans, that's a big yes. S is for sleep well. Your body needs at least eight hours of sleep. I know that's not very easy with the kind of lifestyle we all lead, but it is very, very important. Just switch off all your devices and hit the bed. And finally, T. T is for test regularly. By regularly testing your blood glucose levels in response to your diet, you can cut back on the foods that cause your BG to spike. So test, test, and test. Thanks for joining me here today, and um, enjoy your time on the beach.